I will tell you what's going to happen, Suki, Eric said. You know, when we start to feed and our fangs come out, they release a little anticoagulant. And when we are ready to finish feeding, the fangs release a little coagulant and a little trace of the... the... stuff that helps you all heal so fast? Yes, exactly. So, Raidan is going to what? Raidan, his nestmates say, has an extra supply of all these chemicals in his body. This is his talent. Raidan beamed at me. He was proud of that. So, he will start the process on a volunteer, and when he has fat, he will begin cleaning your wound and healing it. Okay, I said, let's get the show on the road. The volunteer turned out to be a thin, blonde, human teenager who was no taller than me and probably no wider in the shoulders. He seemed to be quite willing. Ray Dunn gave him a big kiss before he bit him, which I could have done without since I'm not into public displays of carnal affection. When I say big, I don't mean a loud smack, but the intense moaning, tonsil-sucking kind. When that was done to both the satisfactions Blondie inclined his head to one side, and the taller Raidan sank his fangs in. There was much cleaving and much panting, and even to drug adult me, Raidan's venial pants didn't leave enough to the imagination. Eric watched without apparent reaction. Vampires seem as a whole to be extremely tolerant of any sexual preference. I guess there aren't that many taboos when you have been alive a few hundred years. When Ray Don drew back from Blondie and turned to face the bed, he had a bloody mouth. My euphoria evaporated as Eric instantly sat on the bed and pinned my shoulders. The big bad thing was coming. Look at me, he demanded. Look at me, Suki. I felt the bed indent and I assumed Ray Don was kneeling beside it and leaning over to my wound.